Hey, what's up, my people? First, let me apologize for not being on cam. My allergies are acting up, eyes are all puffy, nothing that you really want to see. But I did promise you a story time, so story time, it's story time. All right, I have two of them for you. First, my first story time happened recently, okay? I, uh, I live in the facility, and it is, uh, you know, Section 8, HUD, low income, whatever, uh, or, you know, fixed income. And recently, you know, I don't go out much. So I decided to go out and enjoy Pittsburgh a little bit. I'm up here in Pittsburgh, so I decided to go out and enjoy Pittsburgh a little bit. Because I've been working a lot lately, going through training, which anybody who wants to train knows it's uh, five days a week, eight hours or eight hours a day. And just, so I decided to go out a little bit, so I went out. Well, while I was gone, I came back home and I realized something had changed. And I don't have a lot of stuff in my one bedroom apartment. I don't have kids and I don't have any pets. So it's not hard to see when something's changed. So some people have moved some stuff around or something. First, I thought it was my imagination. Well, I do have what is called a altar. An altar where, you know, if you're Christian, Catholic, you understand about burning candles and praying for people, praying for people's better health, etc. And you also understand that when you put out your candles, you use a particular instrument to smother them. You never blow them out or use water or anything. That's just a religious thing. Also, I think Buddhists use them as well, and a lot of other religions use candles as prayer. So I'm walking around looking and I'm looking at stuff that's kind of out of place. So I'm thinking, well, maybe I just been working hard and it's my, part of my imagination. Then I noticed that my lock on my door would not lock. It was having problems. It was like somebody jimmied it. So I'm walking all around, checking out things. And then I go to my altar and I realize that someone had poured like half a cup of water into my prayer candle. So my prayer candle sitting here with half a cup of water inside of a ditch, you know. <laughs> and yes, I freaked out. So it gets crazier. So yeah, somebody had been in my apartment. So therefore, I had to get all the documentation and proof and photos and get copies of them to my landlord so they could change my locks. And they did. But what scared me the most was the fact that they didn't act surprised. <laughs> yeah, you got it right. They did not act surprised. They did not act shocked. Like, you know, like this is a normal this has happened before. And once, and I, about four weeks ago, I overheard someone. They were drunk and they were outside and they were talking to some other people and they were bragging about how a couple of people in this facility have these keys to every single apartment that was given to them years ago. It opens up the doors. So I'm just playing it off because, you know, drunk people talk. So, I, you know, <laughs> that's like a guy. That's like me saying, yeah, I got, you know, I'm, I'm cruising in my Pinto, but my Mercedes Benz is in the shop right now. It's been in the shop for like a year and eventually I'll get it out. You know, yeah, right. You know, so people talk, especially when you get drunk, you know, you don't pay attention to it. So then that came back to my memory. And I let my landlord know all about this. But the shocking part was that she was not shocked. <laughs> she handled it like, oh, like this is an incident that has happened before. Yeah, so luckily my lease is up in February and I'm getting the hell out of here. 
saving money is not worth uh, your security. And as a, my best friend told me, it's not also what a person may have taken out of your apartment or tried to find, but it also could be what they may have put in your apartment. Because we don't have a lack, we do not have a lack of uh, pink eyed, uh, Cheeto eaten, Cheeto craving people wandering around this place. You know, you know, dope heads. So, <laughs> yeah, that story tell that story number one. Now, I lived in a lot of different states in the United States, okay? And if you don't know anything about my background, I have a Bachelor's in Sciences of Crime Analysis. I have a couple other certificates, okay? And I even have a one I was going to help uh, drug addicts, a uh, certificate in behaviorism. Uh, I have a lot of certificates, and that really shouldn't matter, you know, because uh, you are who you are. Just the when you get an education that just helps you perfect your talent. Okay, so I was in Seattle. Story time number two. I was in Seattle. I was working at a place called Rite Aid. It would, now, this brought this story to my mind because we got a full moon on the twelfth. I think it's going to be in Taurus. That should be fun. But don't quote me, I'm not an astrologer, okay? There's a lot of good astrologers on YouTube you can check out, okay? But anyway, it was a full moon, I remember that. I'm working at Rite Aid behind the counter, cashier. A tall, six foot, about six foot, uh, one inch uh, Caucasian white businessman came in. He has to use the restroom. Well, we had a policy. Only people can use the restrooms if kids are pregnant women. Okay, because you just can't hold your water if you, you know, kids are pregnant women. So I'm thinking the conversation's over. We have people around, people waiting in line. And this grown businessman drops to his knees in front of me he looks up at me and he says I'm a little kid now can I use the restroom <laughs> now we had people around but there was a urge in me to do a walk by slapping on this guy just <laughs> and yes so I had to keep my cool and my manager was, he had just came out from checking you know counting down one of the tills he heard he just caught the tail end seen this grown man on his knees and he's a Taurus so he's plain faced but his mouth flew open <laughs> he's like oh my god <laughs> So I'm trying to keep cool. I told the guy, look, no, man, uh, you can't use it now either. So he was like, oh, okay, okay. So he walks away. <laughs> and yes, this dirt happened. So if you got a full moon coming up, watch your six because it's like <laughs> anything is liable to happen. All right. Talk to y'all later. Talk to you soon. Peace. Subscribe. Share, give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. You know, it's all good. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.